Hi guys, it's been a while since I last posted. It's been really crazy with work and life all mixed together. Um, but today we're doing something a little different. I know November we had No Meet November, kind of segued into uh, my no waste, uh, sorry, zero waste camping essentials. So today it's kind of tying in a bit because I'm gonna be trying one of my old classmates, um, hair and skincare line actually it's products that can be used for the hair and for the skin on my hair for my wash day um it's looking pretty crazy right now but um we're gonna try to wash this hair and try out some other products and then after i'm gonna give you a little review about what i think about all of the products individually so about the line itself it's known as balanta um most of the products are zero waste products they are made out of metal so they can be washed and reused i'm not sure if they have um a type of system where like you send it back and they refill or not but uh, i'll ask about that but i definitely can reuse all of the containers um, and they're really well made the packaging is like is what i can say so far about the packaging everything smells good everything feels good um, and looks good too. So um, yeah, I'm gonna use it on my head, let you know. I've got a few things to try out. I've got the shampoo, the conditioner, um, a hydrating oil, uh, a sp detangler spray, which has like some aloe and marshmallow root, um, and a, and a, a balm, balm? <laughs> it, like a body butter, but can also be used for hair. It's a base of shea butter that you can use on your hair and skin. Um, what she specifically told me was that the items can, all what you can use on your hair can also be used on your skin. And that was very important for her that all of the products were multi-purpose. Um, and actually today I'm not going to use the shampoo because it's uh, a, a dry shampoo. It's a solid shampoo bar, which I don't want to use because I'm at home and I have a huge tub of black soap still to use for my black soap shampoo from Maimuna, who is a Gambian small business that makes natural beauty products. So I'm just going to use that on my head. Sorry, I'm breaking the rules. But I, I want to save that bar for when I'm actually like camping and, and need uh, a solid shampoo to take with me. So I don't want to waste it while I'm at home and I don't need it. And then when I actually need it, or I need it. So I'm going to do no Balanta shampoo, but Maimuna's black soap shampoo. Then I'm going to follow it up with a conditioner. Follow it up then with um, the hydrating oil on my scalp. Seal it in with the um, leave-in conditioning spray, detang detangling spray. Put all of that off with the, the balm, the karité balm, the shea butter. So I'm going to try it out and we'll let you guys know. So I will see you shortly. <laughs> okay, this is a uh, freshly combed, washed, oiled, creamed, sprayed, combed wet shake of a hair right now <laughs> okay so i finally showered my hair is back in jail don't worry about it <laughs> you saw the wet version i think it's still gonna be drying for a while i don't really apply like a uh, heat with like uh, blow dryers and things to my hair so i kind of just take as much um, moisture out of my hair as possible with a t-shirt it's a tip, don't use a towel, use a t-shirt. But, um, so I try to get as much water out as possible, just like I pat it dry really quick and it gets pretty dry. Um, I don't normally get drips from my hair once I do that. About how the products made my hair feel. So like I said, I use my Maimona's black soap. Um, this is their soap that I didn't use and I have it kind of like hidden by my camping stuff so I don't use it. But just to show you, Balanta, beautiful. And it's just like this really cool tin, basically. It's like in a product. So this is how they have their shampoo, actually. It kind of looks like a soap bar um, and smells so fresh, so good. Um, so that goes directly, pop it back in after every wash. Um, yeah, looks good, smells good. Is good who knows i don't know <laughs> yeah so it's supposed to um 
be really good for volume and anti-breaking so i'm really ready to use this when i go camping as that moment when you feel like you're in desperation and dirty and i just break this out and i'm gonna be like yes i'm pretty sure according to what's inside it that you could also probably use it as soap it has um uh, colloidal, oh, colloidal oats, yeah, colloidal oats, which is really good for the skin, really calming on the skin. Um, hibiscus flower, vitamin E, um, yeah, honey, lavender, it's just, it's really good. I can't wait to use it on my head. <laughs> so then I wash my hair and I use this. This is their um, Après Shampooing, which is French for conditioner, basically. Um, and it's supposed to be hard, hydrating and voluminized. How do you say that? It's good for adding volume in your hair, not voluminizing. Voluminizing. Someone help me with that in the comments. <laughs> it adds volume. That's what I do know. It has um, karité, shea butter, colloidal oats as well. We're seeing a pattern. A colloidal oats and hibiscus flower. It's it's a ninety nine percent natural and vegan so that's great um, paraben and silicon free and good for kinky curly wavy hair good for fine dry low density brittle hair to hydrate reinforce um, yeah so it's it looks really great such a like the packaging is just fantastic freaking fantastic you've got this cool little press thing i won't press it it's locked <laughs> but yeah the product looked really good it came out smooth no stick ups or anything went on pretty great it said to leave it on for 10 minutes 10 10 minutes yeah i guess i did leave it on 10 minutes and i left it on 10 minutes and focused on the ends of my hair and when i combed it out it was almost immediate and normally when i have my hair in the hairstyle that i had before my fro with the two strand twist it's really hard to comb through it it takes me a really long time basically but with this it went pretty fast it was pretty painless so that's great was really impressed with that really impressed with the smell the texture of it i mean no complaints even though it's all natural products i was really satisfied with that once i got out of the shower and dried my hair of the water that was in my hair i then sprayed this on this is like a leave-in spray that they have um looks good as well they've got the little spray bottle nozzle um yeah Really good. So it's good for detangling your hair, hydrating your scalp, um, and it has ma marshmallow extract, uh, aloe vera juice, and hibiscus flower. So the marshmallow is supposed to, marshmallow is supposed to detangle, the hibiscus flower is supposed to strengthen and shine, and the aloe vera, I mean, I think most people with natural hair know like aloe vera is the cure. Do not rinse, it's a non-rinsing spray, so you rinse it, detangle your hair, I think you just style it how you want it once you put it in and you put enough on your scalp as well. So I did that. And then once I did that, I put this, it's supposed to be like a growth, anti-dandruff, anti like dry, dry scalp, dry irritated scalp. I don't have a dry or irritated scalp, but it's for growth as well too. So I kind of put it, I put it on my hair and I'm gonna be honest, I put it on a spider bite that I, because there's rosemary and rosemary is good for like bites and things like that so i was like what's inside of this oh there's rosemary and i stuck it on my bite so i'll let you know if it's grown into a third head tomorrow so it has a lot of it has seven essential oils rosemary is one of them lavender um what else uh, peppermint citronelle uh, vitamin e i think this is tea tree uh hibiscus flower moringa seeds um, tulukuna seed, um, oil, palbab oil, olive, all the good things are in this. So you'll be good to go if you use this. <laughs> I put that in and then after that, this was focused on the scalp and then I put in their um, ultra hydrating cream, which is in a similar pot to the shampoo. As you can see, great product placement. It's fantastic. Um, I used a lot. <laughs> it's kind of almost halfway finished. This is also for skin and for hair to hydrate, nourish, and also to protect. Um, yeah. It has uh, shea butter. It has shea butter in it. 
as well as vitamin E, um, olive oil. So it's pretty good. It's not in a texture that I'm used to putting on my hair. Like I said, I'm used to just kind of actually washing my hair with water and sticking olive oil that's mixed with lavender like on my hair and body. I have a pretty seamless, quick and efficient beauty routine. I don't really put that much into it. Uh, so it was fun to try these new products, but the cream kind of threw me off just because it's not something I'm used to putting in my hair. If I do put anything on top of my hair, it's karite, which it might be whipped or with a scent in it, but really on my hair, I normally just use olive oil and karite. So this was fun to do. <laughs> it was fun to try out all these different things. So like I said, amazing products. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't, check out some of my other videos and I'll see you for the next one. Bye guys.